Hello again everybody, thank you so much for joining me today. As you can tell by the title of this video, I'm going to be going through my favorite face masks. Face masks are one of my favorite, favorite things to do. I love doing a mask either in the morning when my skin just like needs a pick me up or in the evening when I just feel like I've had a long day and I want to treat myself. I love skincare. I think skincare is probably the most important part of your beauty regime. It's even more important than makeup because your makeup can only look as good as your skin does underneath. So, so important to take care of your skin. So these are, how many do I have? One, two, three, four. So I have five masks here for you guys that make a huge difference in my skin and I wanted to share them with you as well. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Megan. Thank you so much for joining me. Hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up before you leave. Let's jump into it. First one that I wanna talk about is probably my favorite. Well, that's not true, I love all of them. But this one I probably use the most often. So this is the Origins Out of Trouble 10 Minute Mask. This is says to rescue problem skin and let me tell ya it works. So I'll get out of the shower, I'll likely have cleansed my skin while I was in the shower and then before I do my toner or anything else I put this on. It's kind of like a white um, color and it it feels and smells just like Noxzema. If you guys have ever used Noxzema, I don't even know if they still sell that anymore, but anybody that grew up in the 90s will remember Noxzema because they had those commercials where the girl just like splashed herself with water and looked so glamorous. Anyway, I always wanted to use Noxzema because of those commercials. It was good marketing for the time. It really helps with breakouts and it helps to exfoliate. So I put this all over my skin, leave it for 10 minutes, and I do this in the morning and the reason I have time to do that is because I'll get out of the shower and then I will put this on and then I go downstairs and like make my shake or my coffee or whatever and I let it sit while I'm doing that I come upstairs I grab like a warm face cloth warm wet face cloth and kind of rub it off and it really exfoliates my skin it gives it such a nice beautiful glow and it really helps with breakouts and it was super affordable I think it was only like $30 and I've gotten so many uses out of it and it probably has about like a quarter left I love this mask so 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 much Everybody that has problem skin needs to go get this. It's so good. So the next mask that I think I've talked about before, this is my favorite mask when I feel like I need hydration, plumping, if my skin just looks like dull and like lifeless and I've drank too much wine on the weekend and it's Monday and I'm like, why do I look so dead? It's this one. It's the Dr. Jart Replenishment. Okay, let's try that again. Dr. Jart Water Replenishment Cotton Sheet Mask, ideal for redness and dryness. These Dr. Jart masks are so good. I've also tried the pore one and that was really nice, but I like this one so much better. This is by far my favorite. I think they're about $9 Canadian at Sephora. Every time I go to Sephora, I pick one up. They are so wonderful. They smell so good. What you do is put this on uh, for 15 to 20 minutes and then you remove it gently. And I actually did learn from a Sephora employee that you don't wanna leave any sheet mask on longer than it says because it can reabsorb the moisture back into the sheet and take it out of your skin. So you really don't wanna like wear this for too long. I've never tested that myself because after 20 minutes, like I want it off. What I do is I come home from work, wash my face, put this on and then I'll sort of like rub in any excess serum that's there. I rub it down my neck after I take it off as well. And then you can rub it on the back of your hands. I sort of sometimes do that, sometimes I don't bother. Um, and then I will let my skin sit for the night and rather than putting moisturizer or anything back on right away, right before bed, I'll go to bed and do like my regular moisture routine. So I'll use like my serum and my moisturizer and my eye cream, but I give it a few hours before I do that. And I find that <clears throat> it helps that, that it helps this product to absorb into the skin with no competition from other products so I find that that works really well so another mask that I really like I actually got in the FabFitFun box I don't remember which which one it was I feel like it was the last one not spring maybe winter that sounds right these are the Grace and Stella anti-wrinkle and energizing eye masks you can get these on Amazon my God, these are so, so, so good. I don't have any left. <laughs> I just have the empty box because I use them all. They are so good. They're eye masks and they are kind of like that rubbery material and you just open them up, let the serum kind of like run all over them and then stick them on. These work so well. I think that you're supposed to use them at night. I've only ever used them at night. Put them on for 20 to 30 minutes, take them off and discard. They are single use only. Um, make sure that your skin is clean when you use these and I usually will put my eye cream on and then put them on and it worked really, really well. I don't know if you're supposed to do that, but that is one thing that I did one time because I just wasn't thinking and already had my eye cream on and I was like, shoot, I wanted to do an eye mask and then I was like, oh, I'll just do it anyway. It's not gonna hurt anything. 
um, and my eyes looked so good the next day. So that's an option. I wouldn't do that every time, but these are also brightening and depuffing. So if you find that you have really puffy, tired eyes, this would be a really, really good product for you. And they're super affordable. So I'll link those for you guys down below. Another mask that I used, and I've used this only a couple times, it's the Vichy Pore Purifying Clay Mask. I love clay masks. I feel like there's just something so like, you just feel like you're at a spa and you just feel like a really fancy lady when you use a clay mask. I really, really like this one. To use it, you apply a thin layer and let it dry for three to five minutes, rinse it off with water. This is a really good affordable mask. I think this was only like three bucks. And it's single use, obviously. You might be able to get two uses out of this, but I think it's probably really meant for one. Um, you just have to avoid the eye area. You can use it one or two times a week for best results. Most masks are best, you get the best results when you use them more than once a week. So it can get expensive, so don't feel like you have to go out and buy all of these. I'm obviously just obsessed with skincare and it's something that I do like also kind of like as a hobby, if that makes sense. So don't feel like you have to go out and buy all these, but if you really want to treat yourself, a clay mask is a great way to treat yourself. Clay mask, sheet mask, great way to treat yourself for like a spa night or if you're hanging with your friends or whatever. So anybody that knows me knows that pores are like my biggest beauty struggle. I have huge pores, I hate them, and I find that in order to make sure that they don't occur often, it takes a lot of maintenance. So one of the things that I do is I use this mask, it's called Where Is Pore? So I think this is Korean. I don't know for sure. A lot of Korean skincare is very well known to be extremely effective. Um, so this is actually a really cool concept. There's two jars in here. So what you do is you use the top jar first and it says to apply even to clean dry face and massage gently for one to two minutes. So this has kind of like little, it almost feels like little particles to help exfoliate in this area. So I'm thinking that it's meant to take off dry skin and really sort of like pull all the dirt out. Uh, for the first little while. So you massage it in gently for one to two minutes, then you leave it on for five to 10 minutes, then you rinse clean with cold water. So cold water typically will close your pores, whereas warm water will open them. So this says to open up pores and eliminate impurities, blackheads with natural sparkling water. So I that's my only my favorite part of doing this mask. It doesn't really smell like anything. It smells kind of like dirt. <laughs> like it's a mud mask, I guess, so it should. And then you take the bottom one, this one, has almost kind of like a minty smell to it. And so this is supposed to tighten sagging and large pores and enhance complexion with a cooling effect. So you apply evenly to create clean dry face. I've only ever applied this, by the way, across my nose and on my forehead where I find my pores are the worst. I don't apply this to my entire face. Um, so you apply evenly to clean, clean dry face, leave on for 10 to 15 minutes, and then rinse with lukewarm water. So you don't want to rinse it with hot water You want because you want don't want your pores to reopen for dirt to go back in. You want to rinse them with lukewarm water because that will help to remove it. Uh, it's also a little bit more comfortable than cold water. So it says you can use this on the entire face or targeted areas. I've only ever used it in targeted areas because, first of all, there's not a ton that comes in here. And... Uh, I just don't feel the need to use it on my cheeks. I don't have big pores on my cheeks, so why would I waste the product? So this is a super cool mask though. I really like that it's got two different parts. And um, I do this probably once a month or so. I'll do this one. I bought it a while ago from Sephora, but it still works. It's not gone bad or anything. So um, this is a really good option and it does work. I think that if you do it more regularly, like I should be probably doing this once a week and I think it would work better. But every time I do it, I do notice a significant difference in the size of my pores. So I would recommend that to anybody that's struggling with pores. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you got something out of it and learned about a couple masks that you want to try. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have any masks that you use that you think that I would really, really love. I'm always looking to try new skincare and try like the next best thing. So please let me know what you guys use and what kind of results it gives you. Link all of these products for you guys down below as always. Make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave. And thank you again so, 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 so much for watching. I really appreciate you guys tuning in and I will see you in the next one.